Greetings. My name is David Ross, and um, the best way to show my appreciation for my teacher and teachers everywhere is through a poem that I wrote called Teacher. And this poem is for a special teacher that I know, Amini Quartz. This is for you. She is beautiful. She is magnificent. Her disposition, personality, bubbling like ice champagne on the last eve of December, her shadow is so grand because her light is obese, filling the room to the corners, pressed against the windows, painting the walls a new color, canary yellow. But she's sharp. Oh man, she's sharp. And mean, I mean mean, no, but I mean disciplined and full of fiery passions, swirling together like the finger paint of a five-year-old, joyous within. You gotta like her, even when you don't, and that's what you grow to love when you're trying to grow inside her gift, you know, her presence, to find inside your own place in her circle. See, her shoes, a whole class, can sit comfortably in one with plenty more room to move around and her heart is so huge it can't even fit within her little self. Yes, it's so big and wide and round, three, no, four-dimensional, tangible, hugging us all tight too. It's a balloon, a big red one. Someone forgot to unplug the helium tank, but it won't burst. It just keeps loving and teaching and growing and loving and teaching and growing and can't help but to love her, be drawn in by the intensity, the enigma of how she does it all and don't pop. Spreading her light, growing bigger and bigger and won't stop. A beautiful balloon that never gets tired of being filled with oxygen. You know, students, helium, I mean, attitudes and projects and obstacles and people's problems and deadlines and mandates from endless demands. Day after day, cast after cast, pupil after pupil. Her balloon is still beautiful. Can see her light, the glare from the first row to the side building all the way to a theater near you. Thespians and players of all walks and arenas stretch ambitious identities across nations and way up high to lay their palms flat to the map of her direction. Some wait for her to pop and have something new to talk about, but she won't. I don't want her to fizzle out. Not just yet, because I'm holding tight to her string, along with many others she's lifted off the ground to see the world in a way we would never have before without her. And we're all up, up. So high, if she explodes, we fall, I fall. See, if you've never taken hold to who she really is, you'll never get to know what it's like to soar like a weightless bird to unlimited heights. She's my guiding light. That's why I hold so tight and follow her with so much hope and promise like a duckling in the footprints of its mother, like the last soldier marching in a proud platoon before the war. I mean, really follow her like 12 men after seeing another walk on water. I follow her and study like a young boy attentive on the first day of class and present, not just the past, but honored and glad that I am her student and she is my teacher.